Congratulations, Mrs. Griffin. It's a boy. Oh, wait a minute. I don't think we're through here. Oh, my God. Is it twins? No, it's a, a map of Europe. Dear Diary, it seems the domestic overseers are plotting against me. Their plans somehow relate to the anniversary of my escape from the womb. I'm still haunted by the memories of how I came to be incarcerated in that amniotic attica. As I recall, it was every potential man for himself. had reached the target objective thanks to the peerless intrepidity I developed at testicular boot camp. But it was a trap! I was imprisoned in that uterine gulag for nine grueling months. Day 171, I've sprouted another finger. Counting the one from yesterday, I'm up to 11. As the months of solitude passed, I began to go insane. It seemed my prison cell was getting smaller and smaller. I was quite sure that soon I would be dead. But then, a miracle. There was a light at the end of the tunnel. I rushed to freedom, but suddenly I was ambushed by a mysterious man in white. Lois, I got a very good reason. Oh, wait a second. These are always classic. Lois, that cheesy Charlie's is, is no good. See, it happened like this. Welcome to Cheesy Charlie's. Hitler! Well, uh, actually, the name's Griffin. I was sent by my smart, beautiful, and still sexually appealing wife, Lois. Ah, yes. We're all set for your little boy's party. I understand we're getting quite a terrific bargain here. Oh, absolutely. The children get to play our games, and if they win enough tickets, they get a prize. They also get food, cake, and your choice of ice cream flavors. Vanilla, strawberry, chocolate, or people. What was that last one? Chocolate. Now give me the check. Hold it, pal. Lois may have had her heart set on this place, but I love my family too much to risk their lives. Come on, Chris, we're leaving. Oh, no, you're not. <laughs> oh, please don't make me angry, pal. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. All right, Peter, that's enough. Bravo, Peter. You are the Spalding Gray of crap. You don't have any of those things. How do you know? Peter, face it, you're a terrible liar. Ah, uh, it was you. Well, hey there, little fella. Why don't you come with me? No, damn you! You're one of them, aren't you? What are they paying you? I'll double it. I'll give you whatever you want. Money, women, men. This is Meg, a wise one. Can she come with us? Perhaps. Do you have a mind that seeks enlightenment and a heart that seeks purity? Well, not really. Okay. Are you a confused adolescent desperately seeking acceptance from an undifferentiated ego mass that demands conformity? Wow, that sort of sounds more like me. Great. 